Hi, good day to everyone. This is a solar panel, right, on top of the roof. I'm showing you what it looked like. It's a one side, one piece solar panel, right. It's been here for a while and it's still working. You see where the card is? The card come out from under the solar panel and that goes straight inside the house. So I'm going inside now to show you how this is work. All right, now we're inside, okay? So I just want to give you a little demonstration and show this, this one. Now, this is the car that comes from the solar panel here, right? Now, these are the terminals. There's two batteries here. They're not connected to each other. They're independent. Now, how this works is this. Once you're going to move this, I put move it to the next battery terminal which is positive also please follow the color code which is red positive black to the brown which is the negative side now when you are going to put on this solar panel system always ensure that you put on everything first and then after you plug this in always remember last thing you do is to plug this in so if you're going to remove this and remove this plug this on first then when you put it to the next battery or you decide to change a battery or anything you unplug this and then when you complete the setting up you plug it back on top of this you will see a yellow light it means that it's still charging once the light becomes green at the top here it means the battery is fully charged now this battery here is now connected to a 1,500 1,500 watt inverter. Now carefully I will tell you this. All right, guys. So what happened now is that this wire come down, right? And this is a regulator. Now. From the regulator, you have a red and black wire pump with two rings on it that you screw on the negative, which is the black, and the negative side of the battery. The red, which is the positive, on the negative, they have the rings on them. This wire now don't have no rings for two empty cards that you kind of put together. This is what you screw, push up into the solar panel. Now, the charging from the solar panel comes through here, but through the regulator to the battery. So like I said, anything you're doing by pulling these or moving them or any shifting, always remember to unplug this. Okay? And when you've done everything, you put it back together. Now, on top of the regulator, you will see a yellow, yellow light. Whenever the yellow light turns, green and use the battery completely charged right now let me give you an example now this 1500 watt right now uh, this is an inverter right this take current from 12 to regular 120 or 110 so what happened is the inverter is connected with the red to the positive and the black to the negative so if you're going to like for example the battery is now charging this is the inverter what i can do all of this have nothing to do with getting electricity from the pole this is just solar panel system so what i'm going to do here i'm going to plug in a grinder to the inverter here and uh, when I plug in the grinder to the inverter I'll turn on the inverter this is still current okay now we're using a grinder a grinder will take up more amp so you'll probably get about 20 20 minutes or 30 minutes of work with this You're just using the one battery like I said this is just to help out for the time being 
So what I'm gonna do now, this is the box for the Wi-Fi system, which is already plugged in from the inverter. So if the current gone, right? The current should go. You'd be able to use your cell phone attached to the box and what you'll do here I turn on my Wi-Fi and this inverter now would run this for about 45 minutes to one hour you'll get to work with the one battery system now when you hear a peep 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 the inverter is giving you a signal that it doesn't get it's not getting enough current from the battery anymore so this is when you have to shut down everything and leave it for about three hours or four hours before you can get another half an hour or probably 40 minutes from it okay so it kind of good on a standby so now I'm, what I'm going to do now I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi and the box is almost ready so I am definitely getting say 45 minutes to an hour from the solar panel set up like this so this is where you can when you watch the bar it's now empty as you can see there's nothing there but when you see that yellow come up give it like a, a little minute or so and that is when you can either lock off the Wi-Fi turn it back on and see what happened then so this is how the one bar solar panel works see the bar come up so what you do here now say you go in YouTube YouTube video come up you click on YouTube video right and I can even like and give them a subscribe it's nothing hard you understand me and um, you can watch the video and like I said you have about 45 minutes to one hour that you'll have a little Wi-Fi to help you out just in case of emergency so this one bar solar panel system is what I'm introducing to you guys letting you know it's handy it's helpful you need at least you need one battery the, the, the one side the, the one jar full um, the one um, the one block solar panel system an inverter and that's all it is and that now will charge the battery and support this and then this will give you some support for this and here you go Wi-Fi when there's no electricity and that is what I'm doing today telling you guys about and it's very helpful in the future I have a, also a small device almost the size of this phone that you can use in the Sun to charge your phone and that I hear last a very long time for years I hear it last for so it's a very handy thing to to kind of to have so in the future I'm planning on introducing that to you guys so remember to like and subscribe have yourself a blessed day keep safe from Kirk thanks for watching